So I'm just going to zoom in and little brushes 101. If things are touching, that is a good area for it to get thick. If lines or segments are ending and they're floating out in space, that is a good signal that they should be tapered. And I do have two different directions. So notice I've got one, I've got another. So just in case the fat part of the line is not going in the right direction, just fatten it up. And I'm gonna probably do three for most of them. So for this one, I'm just gonna go fat. Since this one's touching on both ends, I'm actually gonna go fat on both ends. And I'm gonna try and let's do five for this one and just see if that is doing what we want it to do. I want it to be tapered in the middle. That looks good. I'm gonna go one, two. It's gonna be fat by the forehead. I think this one could be fat on both ends. Again, I'm gonna do five on this one. I think this one's gonna get filled in. Those are all gonna be silhouetted, so I'm not gonna do anything with them. I think the same thing possibly for that band. I'm not gonna do anything, it's just gonna get filled in. At, oh, let's go fat on both ends. So notice it's gonna go into the ear, it's gonna go into the forehead. One, two, three, four, five. This one's gonna be tapered on both ends. Let's go one, two, three. Same thing for this one. So I want that one to be fat up by the eyeball. And some of this is actually gonna get deleted out. So notice that these eyeballs are just gonna get deleted as they go into the face. I'm gonna go one, two, I think right there. And it'll all make sense. So it'll go through our ugly phase and everything's gonna get cleaned up. I'm just gonna fatten this one up to three. This is gonna be tapered on both ends. I like that. I want this to be fat and then taper. So it's gonna go fat on the left or right hand side. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this one, so I'm just gonna bump that up to right there. That's a five. I want that to be tapered on the inside of the tongue. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Keep in mind the inside of the mouth is gonna get dark. I actually think I want that to be fat on both sides, and then I'm gonna bump that up to five. All right, I think we did it. Well, that was easy today. So before we do anything else, I just wanna, let's just slap that back on over. And you're gonna notice that we have a bunch of overlapping. Some of these are going to be nothing. So this is just gonna be done in live paints. But what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that things are nice and long rather than a little bit short. So I just wanna zoom in and then just double check that your line. So just in case there's like a line floating out in space like that, or just a, like a tiny little corner, it's a little bit easier if things are a little bit long. And it's also a little bit easier. We're gonna do a different little cleanup process if they're a lot longer than if they're like subtly little long. So just so we can grab it from afar, it makes our lives a little bit easier. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna actually leave this one alone and I wanna then duplicate it. So this is the one we spent a lot of time on. So I'm gonna lock that out. And then I do want to go file, save. You can go elf, elf tutorial, file, save. Any of these can be default for you. Click on okay. All right, so now we basically have finished our ugly phase and now it gets, we're gonna clean everything up and we're gonna do a little bit of, uh, we're gonna actually show you two different options to clean up all of this overlapping. So I'm gonna select everything first. I'm gonna come over to object. And then I want to expand appearance and notice that it is going to expand all of our brushes, but we still have some strokes that are, have not been expanded yet. So I'm gonna come down and then do expand. The good little thing is to be looking for this pop-up and then you won't have anything fighting you a little bit later. Now I am going to come over to the magic wand. I want mine tolerance to be five. And then I can grab that weird gray from our brushes. Notice our brushes were tinted, so it actually tinted out our black, by the way. So that's so now we're gonna do some cleanup. So I'll show you two different versions. First one is just using our eraser. So I'm going to select on the shape. I'm gonna click on Shift E, and or I'm gonna come over and look for my eraser tool. This is definitely one you wanna just use your eraser or the shortcut pretty easy 
and any little overlap notice that it's just going to delete what I have selected and the parts that we don't want we just get rid of now I will point this out when it becomes your cartoon this becomes really really easy so as you're kind of guessing on what I what I'm gonna do next it becomes a little bit trickier but it's a really really easy process so I'm just gonna come through delete 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 I don't need this part And I'm just hiding everything within all of those shapes. So we're gonna expand and unite everything right after this. All right, so that's that's version number one. Let's do the next version. See if you guys like it. So I am gonna just grab, and we can pretty much grab everything. I'm gonna come over to Pathfinder and under Pathfinder, there's this divide. So I'm gonna select on this now the little trick is I'm on my black arrow. I am just going to make sure I ungroup. And you'll find out real quick if you forgot this step because everything is going to get deleted. Now we're going to have all of these little overlaps. Now all we have to do, select them and delete them. So if you like this process better, it is very, very fast. Now the only little trick is sometimes you'll get these little negative shapes. What I would do is go magic wand as soon as you see them, grab them and then just click on delete. Now if your entire face disappeared by the way, more than likely you forgot my suggestion of ungrouping. So just undo, select ungroup it, and then you can come back and actually start to delete. Now the only little tidbit, remember I said go a lot longer with all of these lines? So if you go long, this is a easy, easy process. Otherwise, there's a bunch of little tiny little little guys, and you have to be extremely zoomed in on them. And they're just a little bit harder to grab. That's the only little issue, but the process itself is still super easy. So let's say that little, can you guys see it? Little, little corner right here. So those are the ones that get annoying. Our little overlap, grab it, delete, control zero. We're doing a last little check here. I think that was it. Looks good, so I'm gonna do magic I'm going to do my magic wand and I am going to unite all of the black and that's going to fill in all of those little random shapes. So now what I want to do is do our live paint. So I'm going to go object. I'm going to drop down where it says live paints. Make. Now before I do anything, I'm just going to deselect. I'm going to come over to K and we are going to fill in all of our darks first. I'm gonna leave this alone for right now. We can always color it later. All right, that looks good. Now what I wanna do is go to our swatches. Notice that there is this swatch library. I'm gonna drop down to the bottom where it says other library. And we're gonna do this the exact same way we just did our, our brushes. So I'm gonna look for where we saved our tutorial resources. I am gonna be looking for our color palettes. And this one is Elf Face. Click on open. And all you have to do is just click on it and it'll pop over and then you can basically get rid of it. Delete. That was it. So I am always going to be looking for the middle, it's kind of the mid-tone as we are doing our live paint. So let's do the face. So notice there's a highlight, there is a shadow, and I should be able to just come on in. I'm using my arrows by the way. Just fill everything in. I will do our whites right away. Let's do our whites just so we don't forget. White, 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 red hair, red hair. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna select everything. Notice these little cursors for future reference. So a lot of the times I get comments and or concerns afterwards that, hey, a lot of these next steps, especially with the knife tool and as we start applying things, that it is fighting you. And that is because we have not expanded our live paint. So we are gonna go to object. We are then gonna drop down to where it says expand. I'm gonna click on okay. And then now it's back to our transform tool. So before we do anything else, I want to ungroup. 
Usually the magic number is three times. And now I can come back and select individual shapes. So everything is selected. What I want to do is magic wand. I'm going to grab all of our darks at this point. I'm going to go, con actually let's do this before we do that. Here is our inking layer. So I'm going to keep that, I'm going to duplicate it out. This is going to be our background. So I'm just going to lock that out. This is also kind of our, our flat base color. Now on this layer above it, I'm going to go Control X, or I'm just going to cut out all of our lines. And then I'm going to Control